You're kind of the foil, right center, left? Oh, left, yeah. No, I'm a liberal. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm definitely the... Uh, um, I am definitely the black sheep. I mean, that's definitely true. I'm definitely the one host on the entire network who's not a conservative right-wing person. And uh, our show in the morning, The Morning Answer, is structured around that kind of difference of opinion and sort of the humor that comes from the conflict is a big part of our show. So, uh, and having different perspectives. And the best compliment I get from our listeners is people come up to me, they'll say, Brian, I don't agree with you, but I love to listen to you. You know, and the idea here is to entertain people and to have them listen and listen every day for a long time. And, uh, and, and that's my goal. And I, I seek to entertain the audience, not to, uh, not to convince them uh, not to convince them either way of a political argument, to be quite candid. Uh, how persuasive was Ben Shapiro when you guys were together? Uh, how persuasive was he on me? Convincing the, the value of his arguments, not the force of his personality. On the audience or on me? On, on you. On me? Um, I think uh, Ben, I love Ben, obviously, let me say that. I love Ben. Ben is uh, one of the most eloquent articulators of conservatism I've ever met. So if anyone would ever have a chance on me of conversion, it, it, he'd be one of them. You know, my exchanges with Ben meant a lot to me. My relationship with him uh, means a lot to me. I really care deeply for him as a person. Yeah. Do you think he's getting fair shrift? from the uh, the left when he goes to speak on these college campuses? I don't know too much about it. I haven't followed it too much. I know that recently he went to a Berkeley, and I think it was... Uh, I know he was successful in making a speech, which is important, because uh, when someone's that smart and, and that well thought, uh, thinks through things as well thought out as he is, they should be heard. Uh, I think, generally speaking, uh, this goes beyond Ben, I think many on the right or the conservative right don't get a fair shake from uh, people on the left when it comes to trying to shut down someone's venue to speak. I mean, I'm a liberal, you know, and if you're going to be a liberal, if you're going to call yourself a liberal, the first box you have to check is the right of someone who you don't agree with to express themselves. I'm a real liberal. I checked that box consistently. It's checked. I checked it with a permanent magic marker years ago, and I'm not unchecking it. And I just don't think, and that's a person, free speech is a big one for me. I don't think you can run about and call yourself a liberal or a free speech advocate and try to bully into silence voices that you don't agree with. I don't know when that ever became the I, ex, acceptable A, or when that ever became a tenant of, of anything that anyone on the left ever, or anyone on the left as I've gr grown up with ever thought that was appropriate. My gosh, no way. Can't identify with that at all. Can identify with it only to the extent that I detest it.